Hey everyone, Nerdy Comedy Guy here again, and today we're going to be reviewing the Bucky O'Hare figure, which was released by Mattel in 1990. Don't remember Bucky? Well, don't feel bad. You probably have a right not to remember him. You see, Bucky O'Hare was the main character of this um, comic, Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars, which eventually spawned a cartoon which lasted for only about 16 episodes, roughly, maybe less, and then it also spawned a toy line from Mattel. And here we have our main character, Bucky, who sort of doomed obscurity, and it's really a shame because it was a very good cartoon, and I've read most of the comics, and they're pretty good too, and the toys are fantastic. And I actually have the complete set of toys, and I'll review them each separately. But I thought that it'd only be right to begin with our title character, Bucky. <coughs> so, let's get right into the review. So, Bucky has... Well, I just want to start off with what I like the most. The paint job on Bucky is simply amazing. I mean, just look at how bright and colorful he is. Um, obviously Bucky's a rabbit, and um, <laughs> while it might be a bit difficult to see him as a rabbit, if not for the buck teeth and the ears, I still think that's very interesting, just the design and concept of the character overall. Um, not even speaking figure-wise, but the figure is also very, very nice. Um, he has basic articulation for a toy that came out in the 90s. He has um, arms that move out to the side. Um, they move frontwards and backwards. And then he has wrists that can move 360 degrees. He's got that on both sides. And then he has feet that can move frontward and backward. It's also notable that Bucky's ears can move 360 degrees. Well, actually, no, they can't. They kind of prohibit themselves. And also, Bucky's head can very, very slightly move left and right. Now, I found the sculpt on this to be very good as well for when it came out. Um, something that I really liked was the sculpting on the hairs along the side of his face here. I thought that those were very nice. Can't really tell due to this camera, but they were very well sculpted. It's also notable that um, this figure, to me, sort of reminds me of Toxic Crusaders and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Both of which being pretty popular at the time. You know, and I think that maybe they were trying to cash in on that. I also forgot to note that Bucky has a... Um, soft vinyl cape which can kind of flex around you know and it doesn't get in the way of any sort of articulation seeing as how the articulation you know there's no articulation near it but even so I think that it was a nice touch now this toy line could have probably went a lot farther but the reason that it met such a short demise just like the comic in the cartoon was because stores were overstocking the figure um, the Toad Air Marshal, which I will review pretty soon, and nobody wanted him. Everybody wanted, you know, Bucky and Dead-Eyed Duck and Willie DeWitt and the main heroes, and they couldn't get it. And so the line met its cruel, cruel demise. But you can actually find prototypes of characters that never made it on eBay, like right now, actually. You can go on there and you can find characters like Jenny and, uh, some weird Komodo dragon guy and a bee. And, well guys, if you want to drop 900 something bucks on them, then you are a better person than the nerdy comedy guy. <laughs> well, until next time, I'm the nerdy comedy guy. This is Bucky. And I will see you next review. So if you like this, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, tell me, you know, how I could improve. And um, if you know anything about the Bucky O'Hare cartoon, or maybe you were a fan of the comic or something, uh, let me hear your opinion. I would really like to hear it. And until next time, I will see you next, later, Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, bye everyone.